Okay, so as the name suggests, this is going to be a gotta catch them all challenge. Once again, based on my previous history, I hesitate to call anything a challenge. But the thing about uh, this particular configuration is uh, I have very, very little background information. I've played, I've played tactics plenty of times now, but uh, one thing I realize is that uh, pretty much on every playthrough, I've skipped random encounters. Am I going to grind immediately as soon as possible? I think so. I don't see any other way. There is one facility available in the square job class which uh, apparently allows you to capture monsters. We'll have to check that out. It's news to me. But yeah, that's the plan. We're just going to be grinding Mediator. And uh, I don't know what to do with Ramsar, to be honest. Should he participate? If he participates, well, that... that We've already seen that he himself can pretty much take on... Uh, everything in this game just just by the power of auto potion so i'm i'm considering just keeping ramza as a necessary but useless character can i just missions without ramza nope that's a problem so what so i'm um, my plan is to just keep him at keep him at level one uh make sure that he's got uh survivability and just keep him away from the fight as much as possible. Although uh, in many of the fights, the enemies just won't leave him alone. Which I there's nothing I can do about. Oh yeah, we better select our uh, zodiac sign. I think I'm gonna go with the tried and tested Libra. So that would be first of October. Libra worked really well for me in Ramza Solo, so I, I think I think I'll stick with that. What other things do we want? Yeah, have, I haven't planned this out at all. So if this turns out to be a difficult challenge, which hmm might may or may not, I'm not sure. Then I'm gonna get my ass kicked. Another thing I want to do is to get as much information as possible. I'm I'm treating this playthrough as purely research because I've got I've got like no information about most of the monsters in this game. One thing I do know is that chocobos are extremely powerful, all three of them. And uh, as soon as chapter one, we get access to the dragons. Uh, I don't I don't know exactly what they're called. Either they're called dragons or they're called hydras. But uh, yeah, we do get access to incredibly powerful monsters in chapter one itself. So I think if I allow myself to become that OP, it's not going to be much of a challenge. But uh, what I would what I would like to do is uh, play around with monsters as much as possible, because uh, yeah, <laughs> we've we've seen plenty of times before. I've seen plenty of times before that uh, I just abhor the random encounters. Once we start grinding random encounters, the story missions don't become any any challenge at all. Uh, keep your ship between chapter 1 and chapter 2. Wait. Of course we are. What are you talking about? We're gonna keep characters. Speaking of not keeping your shit, I'm playing this PlayStation version. Party gets reset. No, it doesn't. You you just get three more party members. What are you talking about, man? Are you kidding me? If your party got reset, we would get completely screwed. We wouldn't be able to do any grinding in chapter one. Don't worry about that. Our party won't get reset. We just get three three new characters. Let's just get through this uh, tutorial battle. Deck speed! I was debating whether to play the PSP version because I, I wanted to uh, read its translation again but I decided against it. I don't know how... Uh, there's a there's a lot of lag in the PSP version. Okay. 
and I don't know how well uh, my potato laptop would be able to emulate it. So yeah, in the PlayStation version, we are restricted to 16 party members. Thankfully, guests are guests are not included. So I'll need to be. I need to think very. Good. I think I think that's gonna be a challenge in itself. Making sure. Uh, I mean, just just trying to plan out which monsters to keep, which monsters to discard. I guess that's not gonna be much of a challenge. But uh, if I wanted to play around with uh, monsters. Uh, one of my plans was to have a full party of just one type of monster. Should I have to get used to this? Yeah, my plan was to have uh, five of the same kind of monster, just so that it'll be like a single class challenge. And a single class challenge would uh, help out in figuring out the monster's abilities, who, who it's strong against, who it's weak against. But we can't really, can't really have uh, too many party members, unfortunately. We are restricted to 16, and I'm gonna have to be very careful about uh, who to include and who to discard. Needless to say, chocobos are going to be a part of it. Okay, that bastard has a potion. What else? I haven't really planned anything out, so I guess we'll just uh, we'll just figure stuff out as we go along. I'm just I'll I'll just be taking my sweet time with this playthrough. Hopefully, it won't become uh, boring at any stage. Boring to me, that is. <laughs> Alright, good. Gafgarian is going after the guy with the potion. I think that's gotta be up. Oh, never mind. What about you, Alicia? Everyone seems to be doing a lot more damage than I see, than I remember. All right, can somebody kill the chemist? Can't reach the damn chemist. I guess we're killing him. Man, this game feels so slow compared to Front Mission now. How long has it been since I last played Tactics? I think Ramza Solo... Yeah, I just recently played it. How come all of this feels so unfamiliar to me? Uh, I'm just excited for it, man. I wonder, I wonder how the undead will behave. We can't even resurrect those bastards. Wait. We can't resurrect everyone, anyone. We can't choose Phoenix Downs. So that means if they're dead, they're dead. But thankfully, hmm. Well, I don't have to care about their JP requirements. So if they're dead, I guess it doesn't make that much of a difference. Huh. Imagine. Imagine that. Using monsters? It's a completely different perspective on this game. Uh, is there a monster that can revive? Pretty sure there isn't one. I'm pretty sure there isn't one. So yeah, 
we are going to be dealing with permajad situations, which I have never done in Final Fantasy Tactics before. Oh man, already I'm starting to realize that playing with monsters is just going to be a completely different perspective uh, in this game. So I guess our, our attitude should be, don't care if they live or they die, just focus on killing the enemy. All we need is one monster alive at the end of the fight. And uh, yeah, that's it. And I guess between every fight, we'll have to create our teams back, back again. Speaking of creating our teams, since we don't have to worry about monster JP, we only have to worry about levels. And since uh, monsters, higher level monsters are, they're, they're like uh, far superior to humans at the same level. What I'm, what I'm also going to try and do is keep the monsters at the, at relatively the same levels at the, as the enemies. And for that, I probably need to, I probably need to look up my previous playthrough to find out what the levels, levels of the enemies is. Uh, I'll also try to not use the higher level monsters before they become available. So no no black chocobos in chapter 1. Because that would just be OP. But let's see. Let's see how it turns out. Not promising anything. But uh, <laughs> I'm, I'm just thinking about this now. And uh, just spitballing. Oh, it's a little money. Another thing to note is, if I'm going to keep Ramsa at level 1, how exactly are the levels of the monsters in the battle counted? That is another thing that I'm not aware of. If monster levels are based on Ramsa's level, then that's going to be a huge problem for us. Because every time I need to recruit a monster, it's going to be at level 1. So I might need to level up Ramza, but hopefully not. What if, what if Ramza is not in the battle? I wonder if it's like Final Fantasy VIII and uh, our, the party's levels will be average. I know when uh, monsters lay eggs, uh, the thing that comes out of the egg, its level is a random number between our lowest, the the party member with the lowest level and the party member with the highest level. So if I want to keep Ramza at level 1 and all the enemies in the random encounters are going to be leveled according to Ramza's level, then uh, eggs, eggs are my only way to get instant troops, shall we say. But I'm pretty sure that's not the case. I mean, imagine going with the level 100 uh, Imagine going in with a level 100 party and just because Ramza is at level 1, uh, all the monsters are at level 1. That just makes sense. And as far as money is concerned, guess what? We don't have to care about money. Why is this empty? 